hello so here i am on the other side um if you excuse my hair i haven't had it washed yet because um i haven't finding it difficult to get into the park no no no, no. i am washing i'm having a wash every day but getting my leg up over the bar is a bit difficult and the thought of kneeling down to have my hair washed is a bit of a pain in the arse so that's me and I apologise for that um, you can't really wear a hat bed it does not look as early so here I am a week and two days after the operation my plan was to uh, talk to you whilst I was in hospital but that didn't happen because I was very very poorly um, I was very ill I came out of the operation fine then I um, my stomach decided to close and um, I got sick really really sick and had to have a tube put into my stomach to help <clears throat> because I was drowning myself, it was sitting in my lungs and I was drowning myself, it all went wrong um, and then on Sunday I decided to dehydrate myself because they couldn't get a vein to get fluids into me um, but it's all fine, it all went fine Monday, back to normal everything came out, all the drains and the fluids and stuff stopped so I was fine by the Monday You'll be glad to know. I started eating and drinking, everything started to work again. So it was only just the two days really that I was really quite poorly. Um, but then my potassium was low and I couldn't get a hospital because I couldn't raise it. So it was just a couple of days of trying to get food and drink into me to get me out there. And I finally got out of there on. Wednesday last week, this week just gone. So I am. Um, so that was lovely. I have to say a massive, huge thank you to Lisa and my mum because without them I would have been completely lost and probably still poorly in hospital because they're the ones that noticed that I was off my head and off my rocker and really quite poorly and got the doctors in and made them go sit up and realise what was wrong so um, I, oh, they have been amazing totally amazing the last week um, they have been my little rocks and, um, sorry I get a bit emotional um, because they have been so amazing just come up to the hospital and visit me and sit with me and make sure I'm alright and got everything and you know, you think, oh yeah, you expect them to do it, but you don't expect them to do it. I really didn't expect them to do it. And so it was really lovely. It was great. Um, so, it was nice. Um, so that happened Wednesday. I came home Wednesday night. And since then, it's just been a case of trying to eat, drink, sleep, and get back to normal, really. Which is not easy. Um, I'm getting on okay. I am managing my stoma, or Plum, as her name is now, as Lisa's now nicknamed her. Well done, Lee. Um, so if you hear the name Plum around, that is my little stoma's name. Um, she is there, and she's quite happy. She's working. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's all good. Yeah, we're happy. Um, just trying to get over the bruising and pushing and pulling a bit, I think. But apart from that, nothing really to report. Just major surgery. But I made it, I've done it. I actually have done it. Um, hopefully it's just going to get better now. Um, it's a lot of 
going to the toilet at the moment um, and eating very very boring food I'm not really in anything interesting it's all very very plain and chewing it to oblivion so apparently that will calm down in the next couple of weeks and I should be able to get back to some kind of normality well, have no veg, no fruit Nothing of interest. Low fibre diet. White rice. White pasta. White bread. So I think they tell you not normally to eat. I'm eating. Um, so it's all a bit boring at the moment. But we'll see how we get on. Um, so just recovery. Anyone wants to visit me, I am here. Because... There is no doubt to do. I cannot move. It's still a bit painful. I'm on pain meds, but that's it really. Anyway, hope you're all okay up there. And uh, nice to see anybody. Love you all. Bye.